Okay, well now we're going to talk about mixtures. And mixtures are are more than one type of matter. And the other uh, condition for a mixture is that they're easily distinguished. So you can distinguish the different types of matter. Okay? That means you can tell them apart or you could separate them easily. So my first example of a mixture is this container. And this container has a mixture in it. And the reason it has a mixture is it because it has more than one type of matter. You can see there's one type of matter, there's another 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 type of matter. So we have a number of different types of matter in this mixture. And the reason that it is a mixture is because I can easily distinguish the different types of matter. So there's more than one type of matter and it's easily distinguished so this is a mixture. And if you can think about uh, the Raisin Bran cereal that will help you remember mixtures. Raisin Bran is a mixture because it has raisin matter in it and it ha also has the flake matter and it's easy to tell the raisins from the flakes. Another type of mixture I have here, this one is a little bit different because it has more than one type of matter but it also has two different states of matter. One type of matter is a liquid which is the juice and the other type of matter is a solid which is the pairs. So that is also a mixture because there's more than one type of matter and I can easily tell them apart or distinguish them. So there we have another mixture. Another type of mixture that we can have is a solid mixture with a solid. Now if you see here I've got sand and I've got the sand is mixed with paper clips. So there's two types of solids, and one is a paper clip, and one is a is sand. So I have two types of matter, and I can easily distinguish them. I can just pick out the paper clips, and there I have two different types of matter. So easy to distinguish. Another type of matter you could have a mixture is a liquid and a solid, just like my, my pear mixture. Uh, one of them is out of my bag we could have a mixture where we have a liquid and a solid. And it looks like it could mix together, but it doesn't. And this one is sand and water. And we can actually easily separate this uh, by pouring it through a filter. So the liquid part is easy to distinguish from the solid part. So I can call this a mixture.